Hello, Pisces. How are you? Welcome to your energy update, Pisces. Let's see what's going on with you. What's going on with Pisces in their life? What's going on with Pisces? Clear messages. Clear messages for Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? What's going on? What's going on with Pisces? Financial and material changes. Yes, Pisces. I do feel like you are leveling up in some way. Energy of a five, change. Let's see what else. That could also be someone in your surroundings, Pisces. Experiencing some financial constraints. What else? Spiritual strength in the reverse. So I feel here that someone in your surroundings, Pisces, um, could be the divine masculine or whatever energy. Could be a couple people in your life, okay? Uh, place this energy where it fits. But they're having a really hard time um, mustering up the spiritual strength or maintaining the spiritual strength because of these financial changes happening in their life at this time, okay? Let's see. Let's see where this goes. Who is this? Who is this uh, financial changes and spiritual strength in the reverse? Who is this financial changes and spiritual strength in the reverse? Who is this? Who is this person? Who is this person? Who is this person? Financial and material changes and spiritual strength. Seventh chakra. So someone that their intuition is on point right now. They're seeing. The objective picture, they're seeing things from a bird's eye view at this time. One more. Who is this? Who is this financial changes and spiritual strength? All tied up. Yep, someone that's feeling all tied up. They see it, but they just haven't been able to make these changes in their 3D reality, or some changes are happening and, and they feel like they, you know, can't get grounded or, or get their footing at this time. However, they're seeing everything, they're seeing the truth. Um, they're seeing here, door to romance. So because this is going on in this person's life, I feel here like they feel like they're not able to step into that door to romance because they have these, these financial things happening in their life. However, they know, okay? They feel this connection as much as you do, Pisces. I'm getting that this is an external person. They feel the connection as much as you do. However, they're feeling all tied up and feeling like they can't take this door to romance. Okay, because they're 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 really trying to get their the grounding here, their footing. So let's see what else we get. Let's see what else we get. <clears throat> before we before we move forward, I want to see with the um, animal deck what we get. What is this person? Who or what is this person? What is the energy of this person that's having some some financial? changes here okay intending to have spiritual strength yet finding it really hard at this time um they're seeing their intuition is on point they're seeing things for what they really are um would like to walk through this door of romance with you yet feeling all tied up at the moment what is this energy what can you tell us about this energy clear messages clear messages unicorn and turtle okay so I feel here like this person is on a journey. I feel here like they're trying to navigate both water and land, really trying to get their footing here um, and and use all their resources, okay? Use the tools in order to get themselves into this new energy of this unicorn, this abundance, this, this magical energy, okay? Because they see the magical energy, but it's just getting themselves there, okay? So I feel here like this person is making some changes in their life. They are uh, flowing and moving towards, you know, slowly but surely where it is that, you know, their intuition is guiding them, you know, towards this magic. Okay, what else? So what's going on? What else? What other scenarios in Pisces life? What other scenarios? What other scenarios in Pisces life? What other scenarios in Pisces life? One more. Okay. Deception and envy. And memories of love. <laughs> okay. So I feel that during this time, especially when this person is feeling these, uh, 
you know, financial constraints in some way, okay? They're seeing things, their intuition is on point. They want to be able to take this leap of faith. However, these memories of love are definitely coming up for them, okay? If this were a card, this is the six. This is uh, literally the six of cups here. Memories of love coming up, familiar memories, okay? Um, and I feel here like they have a little bit of envy, okay? Maybe they feel like you've walked away, or, you know, th th throughout them maybe going through this process of these changes, they could feel a little bit of envy at this time because maybe Pisces, you're kind of leveling up. They're seeing you that maybe they feel like you aren't as worried about them, even if you do have this in the back of their mind, you aren't as worried about them or, or you aren't reaching out. And I feel here like um, they feel a little bit of envy, okay? The, the deception is that they're not showing you how it is that they truly feel, okay? Although their intuition is on point and they're seeing things from an objective point of view here. They're seeing the whole scenario here and they feel some envy towards you, Pisces. I want to clarify, what is this envy and deception? What is this envy and deception? Who is this? What is this envy and deception? Who is this envy and deception? What is this envy and deception for? Pisces, envy and deception. Knight of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so it's someone that possibly missed an opportunity with you, Pisces. They're feeling like, you know, they don't know which direction to go. Um, a little bit out of control, okay? This person could be a bit insincere, okay? Um, point being, you know, they weren't assertive. They didn't take action. They weren't brave in this situation. And now they're feeling like they missed out in some sense, okay? And just lacking direction, I feel like, you know, the envy and deception comes because they know, okay? They know, Pisces, that you're the real deal. They know that, you know, you could be the person that they want to be with or their divine counterpart because they can't run away from these memories of love that are coming up for them. And, you know, they're deceiving because they're not telling you how it is that they truly feel or showing you, okay? So one more for this deception and envy. What is this deception and envy? What is this deception and envy? Empress in the reverse. We have the four of wands and the two of pentacles, okay? So it's someone here, Pisces, that has, okay, I feel here like they're not allowing a situation to grow, okay? They've been kind of keeping this situation a little bit stagnant, not, not kind of wanting to, but with their overbearing tendencies, with their insecurity, with... The emptiness, you know, of, of their thoughts with the noisiness of their mind, okay? There hasn't been able to be a, a victory here, okay? There hasn't been a victory here with, with the uh, four of wands in the reverse. There's actually been a lack of support, conflicts, and, you know, someone feeling overwhelmed. So this person feels overwhelmed that, you know, and they're having a lot of insecurities, a lot of overbearing tendencies, feeling like they missed out on an opportunity, these feelings coming up for them, them feeling all tied up. Um, and while they're having these material changes, um, you know, trying to find their way back to the magic or their temple path here. Um, so I feel like this person is, is going, you're, the person external to you is, 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 is going through quite a bit. I feel very, very intense energy for them. One more. What more can you tell us about Pisces? Or the person that Pisces is dealing with? Pisces. What else can you tell us? Okay. We have material harvest. We have truth. And then we have solar plexus here. Okay. So I feel Pisces a couple things. I feel with this that Pisces, you have gotten, you, you really got in, in touch, you know, with, with your inner power here, Pisces, with your inner, you know, creative energy here. I feel like you really getting in touch with with this energy of, of your of your soul or the the power um, here within you your, your your creative force your your natal power. I feel like you were able to get in touch with your truth and some you've reaped some financial um, or some material harvest from this Pisces. I feel like this is where you're at right now. Okay, I feel that this is the next step of where your person needs to be. They need to get in touch with their personal power here. Okay, because you know, their spiritual strength, I feel here like they're they're intending to have spiritual strength, but they're having a really hard time to really muster that up. So, you know, I feel here like they feel bound by external circumstances, external things of why they, they, they can't 
um, you know, come forward with this. But I feel like this person needs to get in touch with their truth. And once they muster up this 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 power with inside of them and get in touch with their truth, they're going to be able to obviously, you know, reap that material harvest as well. Okay, and maybe this is why they're a little envious, you know, about about you, Pisces, because maybe they see that, you know. They see you as such a wealth of, of spiritual strength, and maybe this is where that person lacks, is, is that spiritual strength. And they see you in your power, Pisces, you standing in your truth, you reaping your rewards for, you know, the hard work that you've put in. Maybe this is what this person is a little envious about, okay? A little envious about, yet you're almost like the lights at the end of the tunnel for them as well. Victory and success at the bottom of the deck. What else? What else? What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? The waiting game. The waiting game is, are you Pisces, you're sitting pretty and waiting for someone to come towards you? Waiting game. This person is, is working their, their stuff out. Let's see. Let, let's look further into this waiting game. Bottom of the deck, emotional loss. So maybe the waiting game is for this person to work through their emotional loss, their... Um, their emotions okay in order to come forward because i feel like this person is suffering in in, in in silence but i feel at the bottom of all this is the light this truth this personal power that they can reach on to but right now they're kind of in a sense of, of feeling this loss and emotional loss um and suffering in silence here so let's see what is this what is this waiting game what is this waiting game what is the okay too many too many. I'm inclined to look at this one. The Nine of Cups in the reverse. So I feel here like this person, the waiting game is for this person to feel emotionally satisfied. Okay? So we are able to go on to our next path, to go on to, you know, the next phase of our life. We aren't able to, to manifest something for without feeling emotionally satisfied. Okay? Or you can manifest, but it's not going to manifest from a high level or from a high frequency. So this person is is basically needs to get past their you know emotional loss or lack of satisfaction. They need to work through that. They need to feel happy and whole all by themselves for them to be able to Pisces because you're standing here at a high vibration. I feel a high frequency to be able to match you. Okay, so two people that are whole and happy and self sufficient and emotionally satisfied and emotionally stable all by themselves can come together and be one heck of a couple. Otherwise, this is not you know. It isn't really going to work. So the waiting game here, Pisces, is I feel like you're standing in this, you're sitting in this energy here, Pisces, of your truth. You're, you know, gaining some material harvest. More and more you're honing, you know, your inner strength here. And this person is needing to catch up to you in some sense. Let's see. The waiting game. What is the waiting game here for Pisces? Why is the waiting game here for Pisces? Why is the waiting game here for Pisces? Why is the waiting game here for Pisces? Too many. Too many. Why is the waiting? I also feel like, you know, waiting for the stars to align in some sense. I feel like this person is kind of going around in circles. If you see these, makes me feel of the planetary rotations here. This person could be going in circles within themselves, feeling all tied up. Waiting game, waiting game. Why is a waiting game here? What, what, why is a waiting game here? What is this? What is this here? Absolutely. So, Pisces, after some sort of slowdown, okay, in communication here with the Eight of Wands, after some panic or some waiting period, again, another card of a waiting period waiting period slow down okay um this person that you could be dealing with could be a fire sign but they could be jealous okay um an energy of like smothering even if they're not in in, in your vicinity or actually um physically in front of you their energy is like smothering i feel here like they're like all over this okay um jealousy okay jealousy and i feel here like they um you know their confidence is low they're overwhelmed okay they they're 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 almost here feeling like you know they're giving up okay their, their confidence is really low okay and i feel here like they're, they're needing to heal they're needing to heal you know their inner happiness again the, the nine of cups that came out the lack of inner joy okay the, the the lack of confidence heal this energy 
of, of jealousy, okay? And again, another card of jealousy with the deception and envy. So I feel here like they're, they're, they're jealous because they see you kind of Pisces doing your things and making the decisions you need to make for yourself. Um, and things have slowed down with them and they're not emotionally happy. They're not emotionally happy. This person is not emotionally satisfied. A couple more to wrap this up. Pisces. And so Pisces, what this is going to lead to, this whole scenario here is love begins with a firm foundation, okay? So A, this person is definitely going to value and appreciate who you really are if before they didn't see your value, okay? If before they tossed you to the side and now Pisces as you're doing your thing and they're really realizing your spiritual strength, Pisces, and, and how strong and, 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 and powerful you really are and how you're standing in your truth here. And, you know, it takes a lot of strength and bravery to walk away from something that you emotionally feel tied to, yet you know is not good for you, Pisces. So I feel here like, A, you're building a firm foundation, but this whole new scenario, this whole relationship is basically, I'm surprised the death didn't come out. Something, a phase here is ending for a new one to come about, okay? One with a lot firmer foundation here, okay? Once this person works through their, their, their lack of confidence, feeling envious of the situation, feeling stuck, feeling all tied up, feeling like they can't do anything about it, once they work through that, it, they're, they're gonna wanna build a firmer foundation with you, okay? Something firm here, because these memories of love, this is the one thing they haven't been able to escape from. They very much feel this, this emotion stirring up here. So I wanna see, what is, what is Pisces energy? What is Pisces energy with the spirit animal cards? Pisces energy. What is Pisces energy? What is Pisces energy? Oyster, Pisces. I love that, Pisces. Pisces, out of the darkness, okay? Out of the darkness, you are, again, solar. Okay, your, your inner power, Pisces. I feel here like you are definitely brewing some things are brewing inside of you okay out of all this darkness out of all these all these things pisces you really you know have honed your personal power pisces and i feel here like you haven't you know said much i feel like this is now about to open up and shine pisces the the best is yet to come for you pisces you you've been preparing for a stage in your life where this oyster is about to open up and this light is going to shine through and as i'm getting goosebumps okay you, you you've been in the manifestation you've been honing you've been preparing for the best to come pisces okay you you've been really um working through some things and that light is 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 is, is stirring up with inside of you pisces it's it's becoming bigger and bigger earthworm look at that look at that Two cards of, of just magic inside, okay? Magic inside. You, you know, you, you've kind of been coiled up, kind of, you know, maybe um, in a self-transformation, kind of keeping to yourself, not saying much, not, you know, kind of going just about your business. But I feel, Pisces, that you're about to let the world know what treasures you have inside, okay? One more. Let's get one more for the person external to Pisces. One more for the person external to Pisces. Whoa. We have moth, crocodile, and the golden egg. Okay. So, a couple things from this, Pisces. So, I feel like your person is almost attracted to you like a moth to the light because you are the light here, Pisces, in this scenario. Okay, solar plexus, truth. Okay, you are the light here. And this also speaks to, you know, this person maybe trying to, um, you know, not do the entire work, the easy way out of, of the situation, okay? Just, um, you know, so this person really needs to do their work here. But I feel here, like, they are submerged, okay? They're waiting here. They're in a waiting period. They're definitely keeping an eye on you, um, you know, cooling off, waiting for the exact moment to act, okay? And I feel here like the golden egg, there's, there's, there's something definitely inside of them that they're not showing you, Pisces. There's something that they've been, they've been harboring inside, something that they've also been honing, and I feel like it's this, this emotion and this love for you, okay? I feel like um, it's almost been getting bigger because that's the one thing that they haven't been able to, to, to escape, and it's almost like they're weeping 
they're, they're, I don't want to say reaping their karma, but they're reaping their karma from not acting, from not acting as they know they should have, okay? Their intuition at one point told them that you were the, the right choice, Pisces, and they ignored that, okay? And they went on about their life, and now they're reaping this energy of having to watch you from afar, Pisces, you doing your thing, and, 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 and these material changes happening for them, that's not so good, feeling overwhelmed, feeling their confidence, that's what they're reaping, okay? But throughout this whole process, this golden egg, this golden egg hasn't gone anywhere. On the contrary, it's growing. It's slowly growing, it's slowly maturing here, okay? And this person is, is a little submerged, okay? A little bit of darkness around them, but they're submerged and waiting for the right time to act, okay? I feel like they're very drawn to you, but it's gonna be very important for them to actually do this work and not take the easy way out, okay? Pisces, are you not allow them to take the easy way out, okay? Meaning, okay, if they, if they come to you, but you know intuitively that all the work hasn't been done, then it's not the right time, okay? So let's get... Um, Let's get some oracle cards. Pisces. Pisces and this person. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, Pisces. Renewing your life. Renewing your life. Radiance vitality is filling my life, okay? That's definitely happening for you, Pisces. I feel like there is a renewal happening for you. Um, and I feel like this is, you know, what this person is also reluctantly needing to do as well, okay? Bottom of the deck, opening to love. Let's see, one more. Hearing messages from spirit. Yes, Pisces, you're very in touch with your truth. And actually, yesterday I had a dream um, that three orbs... Three orbs came down and it was the most realistic, I mean, I, it was very significant. Three orbs came down and, um, you know, were extraterrestrial or, you know, of, of some other, um, some other planet, some other dimension, whatever it, it, it was. And it was the most realistic dream. Um, and so your spirit angels and guides could be very close, okay, to you at this time, could be guiding could be bringing you messages pisces so listen listen to the messages i am a clear channel for messages from spirit okay so this person is is honing into their intuition the messages from spirit and pisces you as well let's look at these three and see we have choosing your path all is possible. Great adventures. Take a risk. Venture forward. Yes, I feel like this person is wanting to take a risk and venture forward. And support is all around you. Okay, I feel like your spirit uh, guides, or Pisces, are very much guiding you at this time. Okay, I feel like anything is possible. This is a time where literally it's like a reset, a new beginning, astrologically. Um, you know, a great chance to move forward here, take whatever risk you need to take, venture forward, move forward here. Um, but I feel like you are supported, Pisces. You are supported. And um, I feel like this person is going to be taking a risk. I feel like it's going to be surprising. <laughs> let's, let's get one of these to wrap up. This video is way longer than I wanted it to be, but um, let's see. Too many, too many. Magician in the mirror. Could be dealing with the Gemini. Man holding a coin, the sun, door to spirit. Yeah. So I feel like definitely man holding a heart here. Man holding a heart. Door to spirit. Okay, needs to take this door to spirit and the sun. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap that up there for you guys. Employment change, yes, things are changing for you, Pisces. Things are changing for you, power of prayer. Love that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.